Good morning, everyone. We are officially at 11 DPO. So for those of you who have been here following me, tracking me, I will be starting those tests just here in a second, They're right here beside me. And for those of you who are new, thank you so much for coming to join along on this journey with us. Um, I am currently, like I said just a second ago, 11 DPO, and I have been testing since 8 DPO. Um, this is my eighth cycle sharing with everyone here on YouTube. However, we have been trying for four years. So, nowhere near my first radio. Um, okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and dip these tests and then we will talk afterwards because these take a little bit. Um, so I'm not going to be using one of the little internet cheapies, like the little strip test today. I'm going to be using a Pregmate. Y'all remember these from last month and the month before. And then one of the 88 cent cartridge tests. And this one, actually they both say three minutes. Okay, so... We can dip these at the same time now. The little internet cheapies take five, so I usually have to dip it first. Um, I ran completely out of the little internet strip cheapies. So we've got these. All right. So we got a sample here, so I'm going to take off the cap. This is a little blank. Of course, it's not going to focus. It never does. A little blank pregmate. on and you can see where the dye is running across. I'm going to go ahead and cover that up. Okay. And now I've got to get some drops. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Alright, so that has started running across now, so I'm going to go ahead and cover that one up. Okay. Alright, so 11 DPO, I'm starting to feel out, and I don't know why. I know it's still early. It's irrational, but that's just the feeling I'm starting to get now. It's like, okay, if 11 DPO is not, you know, showing at least a little something, that's it for this month, I'm out, and then I, that's not the truth. Um, but it's really, really hard to keep believing that you'll go one day from nothing to a full-on positive. Um, now with the little cartridge test the last two days, I have had shadowy lines, but I don't know if these are, like, just a defect in the test, an evap line, um, and I want to kind of test it, test the test, by going to get a first response, but they're notorious for gray lines too, so I mean, all the way across the board, there are issues, um, but this is yesterday's test here, I did again keep the strip out of the cartridge test, you're not supposed to do that, um, but again, it did kind of the same thing as the day before, the line that I saw during the window when I was supposed to read it has not got any dark any darker um, than the day before so it makes me kind of hopeful that maybe it's not an evap the internet cheapies um, I don't really see anything they, they just they look blank and I would try to like show you guys I mean we all know that my camera does not want to focus ever um, that's about as close to focus, but you can't really see at that point that this bottom test and this test here, the two shorter strips, have got gray lines on them. And I'm calling them gray lines because I don't want to get my hopes up. <clears throat> Alright. I have been having symptoms. I don't want to sit here in symptom spot because I know I'll drive myself crazy. But yesterday, all day. 
my back hurt me so, so, so bad. I mean, it was intense. And I know that that could be just, you know, a normal I'm getting older thing. Um, it could be I didn't sleep well thing. It could have been, you know, hormones making my body do crazy things. So let's hope that it's the third option. But either way, um, my back feels a little bit better today. Um, but I mean, I haven't been up very long either. Uh, vivid, vivid dreams. Oh my gosh. Crazy, off the wall, vivid dreams that I wake up and I can remember every detail. Um, normally I might have a dream, you know, and I wake up and I really can't remember that much about it. These are almost like I've been watching a movie while I'm sleeping. And... Then I wake up and I'm like, what was that? Um, so it's been crazy. And I know that that, again, is a potential symptom, a potential sign of, you know, your hormones and everything. Um, but it could also happen with PMS symptoms with, you know, AF just around the corner. Because at 11 DPO, I should be expecting her in about three days. So, potential symptom. Um... But, who knows? So, I mean, we'll hope that maybe it means something, but if not, well, we're not going to even think about if not. I don't want to think about if not right now. I really don't. Um, tomorrow is my anniversary, and I would love to be able to tell him, which sometimes he does watch my videos. I know um, yesterday I realized that I was talking about him potentially coming in here today. And uh, being in here while I filmed, and you're like, well, that kind of ruins the surprise. Um, he does sometimes watch my videos. Um, I don't think that he has time to sit down and watch all of them, like, all the time. But when he has a little bit of spare time, um, I have caught him, you know, going there and watching videos. So, I mean, if he finds out, he finds out. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I would love to surprise him with it. But, I mean we're in this together so uh it, it is what it is but I know that if um if I were to find out I will attempt a surprise but he, he may already know um all right so it has been actually about three and a half minutes so we're gonna go ahead and take a look um I'm gonna look at the pregmate first all right so just from looking at the Pregmate, and again, I don't know if y'all remember me telling you about these little plastic windows. Um, it looks negative, of course. I'm actually going to pop this open. The little Pregmate tests have this little plastic, I don't know if you can see that reflecting light, this little plastic window. And they're all scratched up. And when I've got an overhead light like I do in my bedroom here it like cast a shadow of that little scratch down onto the strip so it looks like it has like little gray lines everywhere and these are really scratched up that's been my only complaint with these tests is kind of the quality of that little window okay <clears throat> if you guys can't tell we're in the middle of like fall allergy season and I'm pretty sure it's hit me hard. Okay, yeah, I do not see anything. It does kind of look like there's still dye running across a little bit. Um, but where the line is supposed to be is stark white. So let's see if I can get this to focus in at all. I don't understand. My camera used to focus in pretty well, but here lately, it doesn't want to focus on anything. But, I mean, you can clearly see, like, there's, there's nothing there. I would tell you guys if I saw something there. Alright, so that's the Pregmate test. Pregmate test. I'm going to go ahead and snap that back together. Cap back on. Okay, so that's that one. Now let's look at the cartridge test, the one that has been leaving me questioning for the last few days. 
Alright, so first look at it, it looks negative. Let me see if I see this little shadow. Um, you know, honestly, on this one, I don't think I even see a shadow. It's like my eyes are playing tricks on me because I'll look at it one second and I'm like, oh yeah, there's the shadow, and then I'll look back at it again and I don't see it at all. Alright, so we're going to try, try, try. <laughs> What do you guys think? I know there's been several comments here lately saying that you guys could see those same little gray lines that I could. I don't, I don't think I see a gray line on this one, honestly. Well, that's disappointing. Well, you guys, I'm trying to remain hopeful. I'm trying to tell myself that just because 11 DPO is negative does not mean anything, but I'm really like starting to feel like I'm out. Yeah. So I guess that's it for today. Um, I will be back tomorrow. Um, 12 DPO, my anniversary, maybe. Maybe I'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> um, I might, I may just let him test with me tomorrow. So if we do find out something, you know, we'll be together. But then again, I don't know if I want to disappoint him on our anniversary. Just let me be the only one to disappoint him. Because, you know, it's, it sucks. And as much as we try to, you know, say, oh, we still have time, it's still sucks every time we'll get those negatives but anyway guys um so make sure to subscribe to my channel i will be having a um, subscriber giveaway probably in the next couple videos we're getting really really close to hitting that 100 subscriber mark which i know is a super teeny tiny channel but to me it means the world and i want to reward you guys for being so loyal and faithful and following me on my journey it means so much um, so I will be having a giveaway coming up just here very, very soon. Um, and I'm so excited. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is quite yet. Um, I want to wait until we get just a touch closer. But um, I know you guys are going to love it. So um, that will be coming up. But you guys just make sure you're subscribed. Like the video, comment down below if you have any questions or, you know, want to tell me anything. Maybe even suggest, you know, things to do to distract yourself, to pass the time. Things you do, like, tell me what you guys do to make the two-week wait go by faster. Um, but until tomorrow, you guys, I will see you. Bye.